but every Social Security disability applicant who has fibromyalgia needs to know about a residual functional capacity form. The Social Security Administration, or ultimately an administrative law judge, is going to determine what your residual functional capacity is. In other words, what is it that you can do despite your fibromyalgia? Now, many times your records just don't speak to those issues. And the Social Security will review your records at the initial application or the recon stage to try to determine what your functional capacity is. Can you do sedentary work, light work, medium work, or heavy work? And if they can't tell, they'll send you off for a consultative exam. Now, Social Security medical consultants often opine that you can do light or sedentary work, and that's going to result in a claims denial. So the lower your residual functional capacity, the more likely it is you can't return to the lightest job you held in the 15 years before you became disabled or perform other work. Now, I use residual functional capacity forms. And Social Security is not going to tell you about those forms, nor do they tell your doctor about those forms. These forms will help your doctors quantify how far you can walk, how long you can stand and sit at one time, and in an eight-hour day, how much and how often you can lift, stoop, squat, bend during an eight-hour workday, whether you have to alternate sitting and standing, whether you have to take frequent uh, unscheduled rest breaks throughout the day because of your persistent fatigue, and whether or not you're going to have problems with concentrating or staying off task, and whether or not you'll be able to work a full-time uh, position. These forms also have your doctor address whether or not your memory issues make it hard for you to understand and follow simple instructions, and whether or not you have good days or bad days, how many days per month you would miss from work, and whether or not you have any psychological problems, including depression and anxiety, that would interfere with your ability to work. Those are the kinds of things that will make the difference in getting your Social Security disability benefits which is why I like doctors to fill out a fibromyalgia or even a mental impairment residual functional capacity form. Having an explanation of what you can do physically or cognitively or even emotionally is the key to winning your case. I find that many cases are lost because applicants didn't obtain a residual functional capacity form or the right form or their doctors didn't want to play ball with them. These are some of the reasons why you should have an experienced Social Security disability attorney like myself to represent you in your Social Security Disability Claim for Fibromyalgia. Call me today at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation.